Kyle Mohan Racing. We're hanging out at Mazda Tricks and welcome to another technical talk. We're continuing our RX-8 Renesis technical information and we happen to have a really cool project coming through the KMR Mazda Tricks facility. And it's a little bit of a continuation of our last topic on the RX-8, which was how to improve the intake manifolding. If it's off, doing a polish or mild porting and generally cleaning up the rough casting and casting imperfections leads to performance gains, as well as better longevity and performance as well. And we're always looking for sustained performance and overall better reliability out of these Renesis motors. So anytime these engines are apart, decarbon, clean up, relube, and smooth out your intake manifold. All right, now let's get on to it. So what we have here is a Renesis RX-8 touring car motor. This particular motor has been rebuilt, so it started off as a used block, and we're going to walk through or talk through some of what's been done to help achieve better performance and better reliability in racing conditions for these Renesis blocks. These side plates were lapped um, via KMR and the Mazda Trix facility. We then set them out to WPC treatment. It's also got a KMR intake street port and on the exhaust side we went a little more aggressive so it's kind of got an experimental exhaust port we're really looking forward to getting this motor on the dyno if it comes back the way we believe it will come back as far as data goes hopefully we'll be able to release a more aggressive exhaust or overall RX-8 template in the near future. Obviously there's always trade-offs to be had, gains to be made, losses to be had, so it's always a topic when it comes to RX-8 performance. Um, you know, are the gains worth the trade-offs when it comes to porting? When it comes to racing and you're talking about shift points, you're going to be coming off of high RPM to land in the next gear because you are racing so generally you're always coming in above thousand five uh above five thousand rpm at your shift point so this motor is designed for higher rpm application it's not coming off a stoplight you're not thinking about gas mileage you're looking at the rpm you're going to be racing at it doesn't have a water pump on it right now because it's actually got a modified rx8 water pump that has a custom billet impeller to help reduce cavitation and increase overall flow at high RPM. The rotating assembly itself was the rotors and rotating assembly I talked about in one of our previous videos. It was lightened through KMR, side cut through KMR, and then balanced by Mazda Tricks. When you talk about balancing, I may have said this wrong in the past, I don't do the balancing, but I've been using Mazda Tricks balancing for close to 20 years and they've been doing it for about 30 years but essentially the front rotor is balanced to the front counterweight rear rotor to the rear counterweight we also do rotor matching and so the whole idea is by the time you're done you've got a high rpm lightened side cut balanced rotating assembly so it's better than the factory ever delivered and set up to reduce any type of wobble or oscillation and allow more movement at high rpms it's the same type of machine work we do on our turbocharged motors it really doesn't matter what's causing eccentric shaft flex whether it's rpm or boost you have to modify your internals to allow for that type of movement this is one of those intake manifolds we talked about where it's been ported or, or more so just polished out. And one of the things we didn't talk about in that previous intake video was the fact that you can actually radius and polish up your plastic intake parts as well. So it's not just the aluminum. You're also able to smooth out and get benefits from the plastic. It is a little different when it comes to porting plastic. You can't hit it too fast or too hard. It will melt. Um, so kind of proprietary technique. Maybe I'll talk about that in the future. The rotor housings are brand new. Um, you know, when you're talking about your overall block, 
Uh, you want your seals internal components to break in and bed to the best surface conditions possible. So WPC treated side housings that have been resurfaced, bringing them back to a new flatness, new rotor housings, WPC treated remachined rotors that have been balanced, and then all internal components have also been WPC treated. The springs, the side seals, the rotor housings, the rotors. So everything as it's going together or moving under RPM and race conditions is moving as freely and smoothly as possible with the benefits of WPC treatment, which is a harder surface and reduced friction. So really neat things to think about. I always remind people I don't consider WPC treatment and horsepower adder, but I do consider it a horsepower maintainer. So things to think about. The oil gallery oil passages have been polished. Um, I don't go exceptionally large -er on any of our oil passages, but I do polish them out and match them to the gears. The gears have been matched to the housings. They're running racing beat three window race bearings, WPC treated. Um, I modify those bearings to fit into the later model gears. The front Oil pump gallery has also been mildly ported just to allow for the best flow around what the factory leaves as sharp edges, but we like to turn into more of a flowing radius. Um, I'm sure there's things we're missing on this motor. This is kind of our general process that we went through when it came to racing Renesis motors. They do suffer internal heat issues, so always keep your Renesis motor oil temperatures below 230 degrees, water temperatures below 230 degrees, and I really recommend kind of keeping it more at about a 220 so you don't ever run into a situation where you go slightly over those fail points. Basically a stock oil pan, just a new one, and some other fresh components. I'll put some links in the description below when it comes to our previous video about intake manifold porting, about the work we did on the rotors. Um, anybody has questions about these Renesis builds, definitely let us know. But this was the Mazda Tricks technique that is now what KMR also does to help get the best reliability and performance in a race application RX-8 build. Hey, there's more we can do to these. I'm working on some experimental porting. I think the Renesis motor deserves some love. It may not be a traditional 13B, but if we continue to push the limits, find the available power, I think there is a bright future for the Renesis motor, either in the stock configuration or the hybrid configuration we talk about. Make sure to follow KMR, hit those like buttons, leave some comments, and we will continue to do these technical talking videos. Pretty cool motor. Thanks Mazda Tricks. It's always great to be able to roll these out and check them out. RX-8 backdrop today. There we go, brap out.